joining me for today's DIY. You want to get started by covering your work surface with some kind of barrier. Today we're going to be using just newspaper. Um, and then we're going to need a mason jar. I got this one from the Dollar Tree. These are my favorite mason jars um, because they don't have the raised surface um, and branding on them. So they are just solid all the way around. And you're going to just remove the lid. Next, I went ahead and printed out a photo in black and white. Um, I used the normal setting, not the best setting on my printer. Um, you don't want your picture to be um, too saturated with the ink. And I just used a plain printer paper, not a photo paper for this. Um, I cut mine down to a 4x6 size. And then uh, you're going to have to adjust your picture to fit the size of your mason jar. So the 4x6 was a little too tall. So I went ahead and trimmed off the tops and the bottoms to match the size and height of my jar. So once you have your picture cut down to fit, we're going to use a matte um, style Mod Podge and a foam brush. And this is just a simple, um, regular everyday Mod Podge technique. You first take your Mod Podge and you're going to coat the surface of your project first. So just take your foam brush and put a thin layer of Mod Podge all the way around. Okay, so we have our Mod Podge completely covered with our first coat of glue and we're going to take our photo and place it onto our glass. Wrapping it around the sides and smoothing it out as we go because we don't want too many air bubbles to form. So kind of take it gradually. And the glue actually is not super sticky, so you have a little leeway to um, push it around and maneuver it to the areas that you, if it's a little too tall on one side or and short on the other, for you to be able to move it. So try not to get the wrinkle, the wrinkles. You just smooth those out and any bubbles that happen. And then we're simply going to take another layer of the matte Mod Podge and we're going to seal it in. completely covered in Mod Podge. It doesn't take too long to dry, maybe an hour at best. It just depends on how much Mod Podge you actually added to your piece, but it's pretty quick to dry. Um, this would be such a cute project to put a candle in and use for a table centerpiece for maybe a wedding or a shower, um, even a baby shower. I think this would be cute. Um, leave leave the top off and add some flowers and use it as a vase. I think this is such a great project because it's very versatile and it's also personalized with a family photo or something that matches your decor. If this project inspired you, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. We do DIY videos here every Monday through Friday. And leave me a comment below and let me know how you would adapt this project to work for you. Thanks so much for watching.